quack, quack, the duck is back. Hey, I got a little company there on my upper right corner. <laughs> well, as per my uh, decision, <laughs> I decided to go back to the free plan here on this wonderful platform, which it is, okay? And that's why I said I'm not leaving this, you know, specific platform. But unfortunately um, for myself, the new numbers that they wanted to charge on the plan that I was paying for just was out of my realm. So I said, no, I'm not going to do that. Maybe one day in the future, I might consider it, but my needs doesn't require, it doesn't require all those extra bells and whistles. By the way, hi, I'm Jan. Welcome to another episode on the Save Money and More with Jan channel. And that's precisely what I'm talking about. When I say I'm frugal, I'm frugal. Am I frugal 1 million percent of my time? No, I am not like any other human being. But when it comes to certain things, I do weigh out the decision. I'll give an example. Like the other plans, you know, part of this option, okay, uh, one would include being able to stream in multi places live all the time. I don't go live. And if I do go live, it's very rarely. And if I did go live, it's only to YouTube. I normally will not I have no reason to want to or desire to I just don't want to have to deal with multiple live streaming at the same time that's just not what I do maybe for other people that's great so for me it just like kind of sort of absolutely works out but I warned you that there would be a quack quack back in the window I think we can live with it you know I feel proud of myself for sticking to this I really do because uh, let's, it's interesting because like certain times people like um, when 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 they try to show you other options and I said, no, that is a want. That is not a need. Then they showed another option. I'm just using this as the example. Of course, you go through this similar things yourself in your life, right? Then they showed another example. Oh, you're a valued customer. Yeah, I certainly am. Because for a number of years, how many gone on? About four years of pain, right? Maybe one year. One year I started ducking the window initially, then it went on to paying. And then this thing came up and then like four years went by practically. And then this thing came up like out of the blue. And that's when uh, even Steve made his decision uh, everywhere at Steve Young 74. He made his decision like, what? What is this going on? What? I mean, for the person, I mean, for the per person that's running like live streaming, like I said, to the multiple places and needs those extra bells and whistles. I mean, appropriately, this is what I'm trying to talk about right now for yourself when it comes to money keeping or money decision making. And I maintain that I want to continue to live within below my means. Okay. Even on the business budget, which is separate, of course, obviously from personal budget. I'm like, there is absolutely no need for me to, you know, continue on the other way. So for yourself, think the same way. Or like when you go to the grocery store and they're, I mean, we're all tempted. We're all tempted. There are a lot of things out there that look so, so, so good. You know, when I say to myself, well, you know, I could get this thing, but do I really, really want this thing? Sometimes we think we want something. And we may want it on a level. Let's let's define want. Let's say this level, let's define it from, let's say, numbers 1 through 10 on the want meter, for example. I might want this thing, but then ask yourself, how much do I want that thing? Whatever the thing is, level 3, level 9, level 10. Okay, so no matter what your answer, there's no wrong answer. It's how you feel, right? But then gauge it against the other meter, the other metrics. How much do you need this thing? Yeah, you know, I'm so used to the other way, the uh, extra bells and whistles of like putting like uh, fancy pictures behind me or whatever that I choose on my own. Now I'm just working with, you know, the available stuff that's there. So my want meter versus my need meter and the need meter showed me how much the other things we just want and not necessary. So these are like little like practicing tips. I know it sounds a little awkward and crazy, but you see where I'm going with that. How many of you viewing or listening to this audio uh, are thinking, 
what is the difference between a want and a need and how much can you decipher? Sometimes it's not easy to figure it out. I mean it. Sometimes people that like, give their heart of hearts, but I like in my case, when I wanted that carousel, when it was just way out of my league, much younger, this was in my early, early, early days of distinguishing a want and a need. I remember saying out loud, but I need this carousel. What on earth do I need a carousel for? Don't get me wrong. I, I mean, I love carousels. They're beautiful. I mean, now I'm older, much older and rationalize it. No, Jan, you don't need to buy that, 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 you know, carousel. No, 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 not a real carousel. Let's get it right. <laughs> but it was like a, a duplicate. I just think they're fascinating to look at carousel models. They're just such a beautiful, in my opinion, to me, they're a piece of art. And in my mind's eye, a carousel just reminds me of nothing but happiness, 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 and positivity and fun. Of course, memories growing up, especially my first carousel ride was in Central Park. Who remembers their first carousel ride? Then, of course, it was the carousel. I used to love to go on on Surf Avenue at Coney Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a carousel ride. I don't think it's there anymore. But it was there many, many, for many years. And it was something like diagonally, diagonally across the street on Surf Avenue, Coney Island Beach, diagonally across the street from Nathan's Hot Dogs, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So besides the beach and the Frankfurters, there was the carousel ride. <laughs> and what I loved about that carousel ride was um, catching the rings. You know, like when you catch the rings where you spin around, because that's like the object to be on the the little carousel horse and it's going up and down. And then there's this like ring thing that you catch. And if you, you know, get all the rings and, and all that, it's like a little bit of a challenge, you know? So of course I have very fond of uh, positive memories. So when I saw this model, okay. Uh, like some people would say, maybe it's almost like a toy. It wasn't, wasn't a toy. It was like, maybe just like a, can't explain. It's not a toy. You could call it maybe just a, art piece of some sort of this carousel uh, multiple years back I kept thinking about that carousel I, and I was just out of my budget I remember I was saying in my youth my youthful innocence but I need this carousel <laughs> I don't need it but you want to know something because carousels do bring me joy I don't mind taking pictures of carousels I don't mind considering maybe getting a big poster of a carousel and framing it. You see where I'm going with that. And that's how it works when we get older, distinguishing our wants from our needs. And then somehow maybe figuring out a way around it to kind of sort of get that want. And uh, you know where I'm going with that. So welcome back, little quack, quack duck in the corner. I'd love to use my little friend up there. <laughs> but I'm proud that I stuck to my thought and, you know, just just out of budget right now. And I just don't have a need for all those extra bells and whistles.